Hey everyone, this is Alana with Fidget Haven Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the original Ergo Junior by Ultra Spinners. They're currently sold beginning at $34.99. The original Ergo Junior is a tri spinner. It has a brass body, aluminum buttons, and a ceramic 608 bearing within. The brass has a nice heft to it, coming in at 68.7 grams on my scale, including buttons. It has an overall length of 2 inches. As you can see, it has a machine finish, but I find it to be very messy and haphazard looking. The lines aren't at all uniform, and they appear to have been made at various pressures. Some are on the thin side, some are on the wide side, and some kind of look like the spinner was scraped against a coarse grit uh, piece of sandpaper. While this is a budget spinner, I would have preferred to see it look a little bit more refined with maybe a light polish or a tumble to make it look uniform. Now I do have to commend them on the shape of the design. It truly lives up to its ergo name. No matter how you hold it or spin it, it's always comfortable. There isn't a single straight line on the spinner and I actually really love that about it. Whether it's between the arms or even at the end of the arm, it's wonderfully curved to accommodate your finger. Now on top of the unique shape, there's a fantastic chamfer throughout the entire spinner, ranging from thick to thin, and it appears to be customized to accommodate how your finger would come in contact with each area. Because of the smart design, I haven't experienced any hot spots whatsoever. It's incredibly easy to spin and comfortable to spin, both by flicking and pulling from the face. The aluminum buttons are threaded and they have a unique design. They're a mix of convex and concave. From the outside moving towards the inside, the heights increased with concentric circles acting as steps. Beginning halfway between the outside and the center of the buttons, the concentric circles begin to step down again and they leave a very comfortable indent for your fingers. Now I'm going to be brutally honest here and say that I hate these buttons. My biggest issue with them is that the aluminum is exceedingly light, weighing in at 8.9 grams on my scale for both buttons. They both feel and sound like cheap plastic. The contrast of the feel between the hefty brass and the ultralight aluminum is really disappointing. While the buttons are very comfortable and have a great height, I just can't get behind them. If I had the ability to tweak the design myself, I'd probably make them out of heavier metal and I'd reduce the diameter by eliminating the two outer steps. I feel like the design of the buttons makes the large diameter unnecessary and my fingers never touch the edges or even come close. The bearing is a ceramic 608 bearing with a nylon cage. Now while I generally love ceramic bearings, I find this one pretty unpleasant. I'm not sure if I have a dud, um, but it's rather loud and it continually has a dirty sound and feel to it. I've attempted to clean it with 91% alcohol, with dish soap and hot water, and with toothpaste and hot water a handful of times. Unfortunately, none have remedied it or increased the spin times. I've looked over the bearing with a magnifying glass and I can't find any scratches or imperfections. My first two-handed table spin was a minute and 25 seconds. My second two-handed table spin was a minute and 32 seconds. I cleaned the bearing with all of the aforementioned methods and my third two-handed table spin was one minute and 35 seconds. I have a hard time faulting ultra spinners here because I haven't heard of similar issues with other Ergo Juniors, so I really feel like something must have happened during shipment as I'm positive that the QC checked it before sending it out. The Ergo Junior that I'm reviewing here isn't the first one that I received. My first one had an issue with it, and as soon as I made ultra spinners aware of it, they sprung into action, sending out a new one within an hour. They have wonderful and attentive customer service, and anyone interested in purchasing from them should feel 100% confident. As you can likely tell, I have a love-hate relationship with this spinner. There are aspects that I think worked exceedingly well, and others that just aren't up to par for me, budget spinner or otherwise. Now that my review is over, I do intend on polishing it to even out the finish, and I'll be changing the bearing out with an R188 converter core. I would be super curious to try out their newer versions, which already come with an R188 bearing, though I know that it would still likely have the same finishing issues and the plasticky buttons. For an American-made spinner, it's an acceptable price. Even with the sound, I'd still classify it as a concentration fidget. It's just so easy to spin effortlessly and mindlessly. It's super flickable, even being made out of brass. I really look forward to changing out the bearing because I know that it's going to get a ton more use for me. The design is just so smart and it makes it really fun to use. 
Once again, this is the original Ergo Junior by Ultra Spinners. I'm Alana from Fidget Haven Reviews, and if you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to post them in the comment section below. I'm going to include a link in the description to both the Ultra Spinner store and to the written review that I've made of the spinner. I hope that this was helpful to you, and I really appreciate you watching it. So thank you very much, and I hope that you have a great day.